y'all, I'm in the studio today. Today, let's make a pendant that looks like a potion bottle. Come join me at the bench. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a, an easy yet artistic cab wrap wire wrap uh, and a friend of mine um, on the last one said oh my god that looks like a magic potion bottle and it does so we're going to make a magic potion bottle wrapped cabochon pendant thanks destiny <laughs> here we go you're gonna need some tools and some wire so I've got a pair of side nippers, I've got a pair of chain nose, a pair of round nose, I've got some 20 gauge copper wire, I've got some 22 gauge copper wire. I also have three little accent stones, huh? no, two little accent stones. Three little accent stones, two little copper spaces, and or spacers, and push this out of the way. And I'm going to need a cab. Um, a cabochon is anything with a domed top that's not faceted and a flat back. So your cabochons don't always have to be an oval. They can be any size, not that, but this is a cabochon, this little square one, because it's got a dome top and a flat back. So this is my little, my little treasure box of cabs and a few other things, and uh, I wanna use this one. It was laying right on top, um, and it almost looks like it has different things mixed in it and if you shook it up real good then it would it wouldn't swirl and it would all mix together it looks magical to me so this is the one we're going to use today and I'm pretty sure this is a polychrome Jasper it's a Jasper for sure but which variety not a hundred percent sure so this cab isn't terribly thick uh, so we might get a uh, we can get away with just using two wires. So I'm going to take my 20 gauge wire and I'm going to measure two pieces of my 20 gauge wire so I have some room left at the top and then it goes around. It's going to make a... So this is the halfway point here. And I need some room up here to make my bail, to make my little swirlies. So I'm gonna give myself some room to do some wire wrapping up here. Uh, so we're gonna say this is the half mark. And that is about four and a half inches on my little makeshift here. So you can see it goes to 10 to about 14. So four and a half inches. So that means I need two pieces that are nine inches long. Put that off to the side. This is all I need. I'm gonna use my fingers and straighten it out some here. All right. Let's get in and get personal. What you say? Okay. First, I'm going to eyeball the center of my wire and the center of my stone this is not completely even which I like that too and right here in this middle I'm gonna wire up um, these two with my 22 gauge uh, I'm not gonna cut it I'm gonna leave it on the spool so I'm just gonna do a quick you'll see you're just gonna go around not letting them crisscross each other
just a few quick wraps. Because it's going to be the base of our design. It's going to cradle the bottom of the cab. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that my wires did not crisscross. I'll push that together. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to trim this side off. And I'm going to trim this side off. There we go. There. I'm trying to make it so you can see it so I can work and not be bumping my elbow on the, the camera stand. I'm going to straighten this out. And then if you can see these little pieces here that I cut off, I'm going to flatten these and make sure that there's no burr. There. I'm just going to squish that coil back together flush, just like that. Then I'm going to use these and just push that tail in. Same over here. Just going to bring this around. Where is that? There it is. There it is. You can't hide from me. Little piece of copper wire. Okay. Yeah. Run your thumb across it. Make sure there's no burrs. And now, I'm going to eyeball it. See if I'm still at, at center. Looks pretty good. And then, that's going to be cradling the bottom of my cab, which that's what I want. Okay. And so now we're going to bend this. Push that out of my way. So now I'm going to bend this up and mold this to the bottom of my cab and bring it around. Just leaving it flat so you can see what I'm doing. So there, roughly, it's in the middle at the bottom. And I'm crisscrossed at the top. Looks pretty good. So. Now that I have got that bent around there a little bit, what I need to do is find out where my bail's going to be. And so for my bail, I'm going to bring these around to the top and then take my chain nose pliers and bring it around, bring it up, and bring it, bring it around and bring it up just I'm not committing anything I'm just kind of getting the feel for where this is going to set on the stone and where the bales going to be so I got this side a little short can you see that where I bent this one I bent this one a little too short it needs to be higher up here like on this side so I haven't committed anything it's not difficult to straighten out and then move that up just a little bit. Just a little bit. And now, when I pinch that top together, you can see where the wire comes around to the top. And if this is the, the bottom of the bale here, you can see how it's going to set that stone in there. So this is good. So now what we want to do is take our 22 wire again and where you don't want these to crisscross you want these to stay parallel to each other you want to take your 22 gauge wire and just make several loops around the top to hold these four strands together just like that doesn't have to be many um, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we can move it around so I'm going to clip this off 
here and then I'm gonna clip this one off back here there we go put this wire off to the side now before I commit this moving this around I want to make sure that these did not crisscross so going up into there those are next to each other I'm gonna go over to this side and those are next to each other perfect perfect so now we're about to get get serious and commit this so to commit this I'm gonna hold this this stone into this wire and I'm gonna pull this coil that we just did down towards the top of the stone and what you might have to do is hold all your wires with your chain nose plier and pull down on that coil that you just made and that's going to make that closer to the top of my stone I need it just a little bit closer so to do that I'm going to take my chain nose and bring this together just a little bit more and then push that down oh yeah that's a nice tighter fit we're gonna be moving these wires around too so like I said this is just a quick key I want to show you how quick and fun it is to wrap a cab if I didn't talk and I just did it you'd be surprised how fast this came together so I'm gonna pull that down just a little bit more how close are we now oh yeah that's good that's good okay so now I need to commit that so I'm gonna mash it pull that down there's my back that's right there's a little bit of a burr and over here's a little bit of a burr and I'm just gonna take it to the back and put it in place there we go okay all right, I'm gonna save one of these for my bail. So I'm gonna push all these off to the side. We're gonna use these for something else. And this is gonna be, because it's the most middle, this is going to be um, the bail of my, the top, this would be the stopper of the, the medicine bottle or the, the potion bottle. So this is where my stopper is going to be. So I'm gonna put my stone back in here make sure these are wanting to crisscross right at the top and we'll push these back around make these come back parallel we'll put my stone in here now that my stone's in here we're going to help anchor the stone the top of the stone with these wires so i'm just going to push these apart just a little bit so they go around the front and the back of the stone just like that okay not too far in just enough to give it a hug like like this and I just did that with my fingernails real quick just pushed them apart and it's just barely holding that stone in for right now and so here's where some of the magic comes so these three wires here we're going to tuck back in and we're going to bring them out through the front because that's going to cause tension from here to here which is going to help hold the stone in place so it's not going to be pretty to begin with so I'm just going to take these to the back and to the front just like that see there and then I'm going to take these two as well from the back to the front and then take my players and pull them in so it's nice and flush and do that with this last one I don't leave, have to leave the stone in there obviously you just saw me drop the stone out from the back to the front and so I have these three pieces back here and I'm just going to mash them flat flush with each other and then we'll put the stone back in bring these wires around just a little bit not a lot I 
Now once they're through here, we still got to make some tension on that stone. So we can take, bring one around the back to the front and bring another one around. We'll leave that one in the middle from the back to the front. And then take your chain nose pliers and just push those wires a little flush like that. There you go. And you don't want them this long. So you'll need to adjust and cut them off to where they're about an inch or so long, roughly. Take your round nose plier and grab the end. Why is it so hard to get a hold of? Because somebody's watching. Okay. I've got that started with the chain nose, and now I'm just going to make a spiral. By just grabbing and turning it a little bit at a time. And then push it in place with my finger. Then I'll make another one with this one. Another one with this one. Now I have these three swirlies in the front. And it's kind of going to hold, see, you can see how it goes right across the top of that, where that little hole was. So that's where these are going to live. So now we have this here, which is going to look like the stopper of our bottle. So I'm going to start with my biggest bead and then go with a spacer and then go with my next biggest bead. We're going to graduate them up and a stopper. not a stopper, a spacer. And my last bead. And then, now they're stacked up where they need to be. And I'm going to make a bail. So I'm gonna use my chain nose pliers. And I'm just going to push that towards the back. I'm gonna move it down the tine so I have a nice big bail. Wrap that around. And then I'm gonna take this wire and I'm going to wrap it around several times to tighten that down into the design. You'll know when you need to stop because you can feel the pressure on the beads. And then cut that tail off. And then I'm going to mash that tail in. So it's nice and flush. No rough edges. So it's starting to take shape. It's starting to look like a little potion bottle with a really fancy jeweled stopper on the top. Now we gotta keep this stone in the design. So we have the top done and now we have these wires, two wires, two in the front and two in the back. So Take your chain nose pliers and start in the front, either on top or bottom, however you want your design to be, and grab your wire and do very, very lightly a quarter turn. And that's going to make an anchor. And then you're going to go to the opposite corner 
of where you just made that anchor and make another anchor because we're going to work our way around the design to tighten it up. So down here in this corner, I'm going to grab my wire and I'm just going to make a quarter turn. Now I'm going to go to the back. So since I just did this one here, I'm going to do the opposite and I'm going to go to this one over here. And I'm going to grab my wire, give it a quarter of a turn, and then I'm going to go down to this corner here and give it a quarter of a turn. And now my anchors are starting to take shape. I'm going to use my fingers and just move the wire around a little bit to where I want it. And now it's a matter of going from anchor to anchor and giving little twists until you have it all the way tightened into the design. And right now, that stone ain't going nowhere. You can see that. It's in there. See that? So you don't want to over tighten it. So, this is when you have to know when to stop. So, this wire isn't completely flush. Can you see that? So, I'm going to take the side of my pliers and just move across it and knife it down into place. And then I'm going to reset that just a little bit. Not too much. And then the same with this corner down here. It's not quite 100% flush. Oh yeah, that's nice and tight. So now I have my little spirals up here. Where do I want to place them? Do I want them to be overlapping like they are? Kind of. I really like that. And then I can adjust my my wires in the back where I move them they're nice and flush nice and flat how cute is this that little cab with just two wires two wires is not going anywhere and we've got Jasper, and we've got Agate, so we've got Gentleness, and we've got Harmony and Balance in our potion bottle. And then I have a little chain, just a finished chain, copper chain. Will it go through there? Yep, pretty as you please. Look at there. Look how fast that was. And now we've got it on a little chain. Look what we did today! If you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. I'll make sure that I put it in a playlist so it's easier for you to find. My channel's loaded with content. I love making jewelry, I love tie dyeing, I love crocheting. That's what I do the most of. And remember, be peaceful, be kind. It's important. Hey, try something new today. Who knows? You might like it. I'll talk to you soon.